Um, if there are no questions or concerns, let's just start with the gentle bit of movement. Let's start with some cat cows. And just a bit of space. We're gonna do 10 reps. Okay, after about 10, let's do our bird dog, sitting an arm and a leg, put to my foot, and then back down. Having to wait 10 of these. you've done your bird dogs if you want to go into a child's pose because tabletop positions tend to favor these things to your back drop your head between your shoulders time when you're ready coming back to your tabletop position let's bring your left knee towards your left elbow Bring your leg out to the side without lifting your hip. So harder than it looks. So this is not a big rotation where I open the hip. I just want to lift the leg or my knee as far as without lifting my hip goes. And let's do five per direction. I'm currently going counterclockwise on my left leg. We're going to stay in the same leg. We're going to go clockwise or backwards, right? So keep the leg back to start and come back around. Maybe warming up the hip a little bit, the actual joint itself. Once you have that direction or that side of that leg, let's do the opposite. So bring your knee towards the elbow. I'm doing my opposite leg here. In this case, we're going clockwise with my right leg. Do a motor control drill as well. Keep doing soft for your knees. Go ahead, grab a soft for your knees. And of course, you have backwards. And back. And again, if you're not touching your elbow, that's fine. We're just reaching towards the elbow. So I want you to have your 10, basically 10 rotations per leg. Let's go ahead and have a seat. Let's do our 90-90s next. Or finishing off your hip rotations. And let's take a while. Okay, so we're seated, shoulder width. Go ahead, drop your left to one side. Just kind of building on that. In your time, getting through 10 total reps.
All right, let's go ahead and get our shoulder warm up or spin up, kind of that pre shoulder movement always you're doing either pushing or pulling. Um, you could do this kneeling or standing, as long as your fingertips don't whack the ground or anything around you. Let's go arms in your T shape. Thumbs up. Start small. We're in a small space. It's okay to share or spread out if you, as much as you can, or do one arm at a time. So doing 10 rotations. So 10 ish. It's for a lost count there. But I'm still pointed up to go opposite direction of what you just did. Again, make those circles as small as you need. I'm gonna take a break on those. So forward, back, nice and easy. Swing your arms. Super passive. So I'm not going past anything my body doesn't like. Go a little tap on the back of the shoulder. Our thumbs down next. So the thumbs are pointed down. Small. Gradually making the circles bigger. That could be per arm. But you take a break before you change directions, that's fine. Thumbs point down. If you get a little necky, dropping the hands around 45 degrees, you can still get the same stimulus without a little bit of sort of upper neck and jaw piece. Otherwise, start small. Okay, so hopefully feel the upper back, shoulders. It's okay, a little neck comes in as long as it's not painful. Um, what we're gonna do next is inchworms. So standing up at the, if you have a mat, at the edge of a mat, otherwise. Standing at the lengthwise, if you're in a small space, you can take turns. Touching your toes, walking out to a plank shape. A push up of some kind. You can drop the knees, lay down, get back up. Warming up is fine. Hands back to your feet. If that doesn't feel great, let's just go ahead and touch your toes and then stand back up. Bending your knees is fine. Or holding a plank shape is perfectly fine. Substitution here if we need to make sure that. Bend your knees, should you need to. Let's do five total, five reps total. Just you look very tall from this angle. <laughs> I feel like I'm watching from a concert stage. <laughs> um, once you've done your five inchworms, go ahead and rest, take a break. Let's go ahead and cover our goblet squats and alternating lunges. We'll just make sure that feels good. Um, we're gonna start of course unweighted and then add weight, right? So if you need to grab your weights, go ahead, grab your weights. My barista. Thank you. Okay. So our goblet lunges, or let's say goblet lunges, goblet squats, right? So we're going to start with squats first. I'll show you from my hips down. Um, we'll go on weighted first. Let's get 10 squats, feet, shoulder hip width apart. Chest is up. I know you can't see my chest at the moment. From the side, I sit back like I'm sitting in a chair. Right hands do whatever they want to do here. I stand back up. You want to put your hands on your waist or hands above your head. Either way, keeping your heels and toes down. Okay. Knees track over the toes. Toeing out spine. Let's get 10. Just kind of seeing how our squats are feeling so far. You can't get hip crease at or below parallel. Um, or you can't sit to a very low seat. That's okay. Do the best you can following those rules. Toes down. Heels down and knees are tracking over the middle of your foot. 
or you think your ankle is stacked over, your knee and your ankle are stacked on top of each other. Why don't you have your 10 air squats? Okay. Let's go ahead and do 10 total. So that's five per side lunge steps. So if you're stepping forward, great. Um, if you're stepping backwards, that's fine. Either way, um, your back knee does not need to touch the ground. So whether it's a forward step, a back, or it's a backward step, back. Either way, I want 10 total, okay? Five per side, basically we're alternating our steps. If you need to hang on to something for balance, that's totally fine. Find your desk, even a sofa will do the trick. Extending the back hip. If you want to squeeze your butt on the back leg, open up the hip. It also limits your range of motion, which is not a bad thing. Okay. So let's go ahead and put this all together, right? Let's do, let's grab, if you have weights, a couple options. You can carry, you have multiple weights. You can carry weights on your shoulders, right? Like we talked about before. Um, dumbbells are usually pretty easy for this. Um, even a barbell, if you have a front rack, that's fine. Um, for my athletes with one, we can hold it here, here, or of course, if you have a kettlebell, anything. Grab your weight. And let's get six reps. We're going to put this together. You're going to squat down, and one rep is going to be a squat. I'll show you your side. So we're going to squat down. So one rep is one squat. I'm going to go backwards. Lunge, lunge, one. And we're going to do six. Okay. <laughs> Taking your time. These take a while. And if you need to rest within six reps, that's fine. The lunges can be a little more challenging with weight. So if you need to change your weight option, if you have the choice, you can. Stepping forward or back. Again, I tend to lunge backwards. So one rep is a squat and two lunges. We're doing six of those. We down six already, Joseph. You can just try hang out for a second. Yeah, it's okay for we'll we'll go to the blue bridges in a second. There you go. Just like anything else, pain is not the point, right? So it's okay if sore is okay, but pain is not. Followed by our glute bridges. So you have two options. Single leg is gonna be either kind of a B stance. So I've talked about this before. So this is even. I'm gonna keep one foot forward. So I'm focusing on my left leg. I can do 12 reps this way. I can do 12 reps this way, right? Or if that's too much, it's, if you feel like that's too much volume for the single leg, go ahead and just do 12 reps with two feet. For anyone looking to add some spice, but not complexity, put a weight in your hip, hold on to it, and do the same thing. So, kind of variations. If you don't have weights, single leg's great. If you have weights, you can go ahead and put them on your lap. Let's do 12. If you're doing single leg, just do single leg. I don't need to add weight to that unless you're feeling really good this morning. Again, feel free to manage the volume, right? 12 reps per leg. If that becomes too many, drop to 10, that's fine. Or take a break within those 12 reps. Once you've done both legs, 
you've just completed one round of your first part of your workout. Let's go ahead and continue that and repeat that goblet squat and lunge, alternating lunges for six reps. And your glute bridges, 12 reps either per leg or total, depending on how you approach it. So the remaining two rounds of this can be done at a pace that works for you. So we just did it. One rep of the goblet lunge, goblet squat, two lunges. Do that for six reps. There you go. You're lifting the hips by squeezing your butt. In this case, if you're doing one leg, it's one kind of my majorly one butt cheek. Nice job. With the glute bridges, if you find there's a leg that struggles more, that's fine. If you have a tighter hip, I definitely have one hip that's tighter, you're gonna have a harder time, or even tighter quads, you're gonna have a harder time on that leg, which is completely normal. Just go to whatever that hip quad will permit. Nice guys. So finishing round two for most of us and entering round three. You're doing a total of three here. Excellent. All right, finish off those glue bridges or taking a break if you're done a bit early. Okay, I take it, most of us are done here. So let's go just kind of take a, you can, I'd say seated or sorry, you can see the screen. It's fine if you're just recovering a little bit. Um, so let's actually go ahead and do our T's or W, Y's and I's first. And this, I realize the order is a bit funny, um, but this is often usually the prep piece, um, for the shoulders. 
All right, so continuing that, especially if we get into our push-ups. Um, and so I'll demonstrate. I'm going to explain verbally, so I'm facing the ground for the actual exercise. Um, and when we're doing this exercise, we're going to make a W, Y, and I with our arms. Okay, so palms down is fine. When I'm laying down, even when I'm laying down, I want the relationship with my shoulder and my pec to be in line with, not in front of, right? So if you feel like you're dropping the shoulder in front or the head has to come up to lift the arm up, we've defeated the purpose of the exercise. We want to kind of get the posterior, right? Rotate cups, a lot of things, but the back of the shoulder um, and joint to kind of warm up. So the idea here is to keep it, your posture, even when laying down like this. So if you put a pillow under your head, that's fine to do so. And I'm going to skim moving, the most learned. I'm going to skim my arms on the ground here. So I'm going to start laying down. I'm going to go ahead and lift my arms up. Make W, a Y. My hands, I don't have room. An I, forward. And then back to Y, W. All right, so the idea, move down. Just so I can move my arms a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead, raise, W, here. Here, here, right? Just getting the ground. So a little bit of room. The idea being, we're just getting the back of that shoulder to move. So each one, one rep will be your W, Y, and I's relative, how you can get them. That's one rep. We're gonna do that for 10, okay? So just gonna go ahead and gently get back the shoulder. For anyone who's doing this, and they feel like, you know what, I've done this, I've done a set of 10, and I feel pretty good. We'll start on weighted. If you want to grab two cans of beans, they're about a pound, right? 15 ounces. Um, you can do it with a can of beans. See how that feels. It's a, it's a whole different category. If you have one pound weight, even better. Let's go. Let's go with the first, first set of 10. We're doing a total of three here to get a rest after your set of 10. Do your first weight oh, set on weighted. And then the following two, you're more than welcome to then add. If anyone wants to do this standing up, there's a lot of standing version as well. When you lift the hands initially, you're squeezing your shoulders together. Bring your hands to a W shape and then into a Y shape. The I is if you can get your hands closer together. And we talked about that shoulder, keeping the shoulder back through the whole movement. So you rest your head, Arisa. You don't have to lift the head up the whole time. Yeah, you don't have to like crane the neck. You can keep the head. Again, if you want to put a pillow under your head to lift it up, that's okay. So posterior shoulder, so behind the shoulder and the upper back. Once you get outside of 10, you can see rest as needed. We're doing a total of two more. Men's inspecting. I know it sounds silly, but we're not doing 30 reps in a row. It is okay to have a brief or slightly elongated break between your sets of 10. Okay. 
Amen. Ben's just loving the camera right now, so it's just like, hello. <laughs> I'm not complaining. The viewing is very nice. She got stepped on a minute ago, so she wanted to come in and make sure she was still loved. Oh. Who stepped on her? One of the kids? Oh, Joseph? She got under a back lunge. <laughs> It's kind of her own stupid fault. Yeah, no, that that's not Joseph's fault. That's 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 the cat's fault. That's that's fair. The gym I work at has a very cute pit mix. He's this big baby. He's like eighty pounds, but he's um not what you'd call smart. But he's real handsome. And when you're bench pressing, he'll walk under your bar and you'll boop him. And then he'll be like, oh, no, you booped me. And then everyone's like, oh, my goodness, the poor baby. And then you, of course, give him attention. So he, like, walks under things to be like, maybe you'll, maybe you'll accidentally kick me. And then you'll feel bad. And then you'll love me. <laughs> he, has absolutely no fear. he has no fear of barbells. Like, he's not afraid of anyone's weights or, like, getting in someone's way. He's just like, you'll stop for me, right? Most people do. <laughs> okay. How are the how are the little I we're snow angels. I don't know how you want to call them. They feel okay? Feel good? Eh? It's okay if you're kind of like in ambivalent about them. Um like I said, if you want to add a weight two cans of beans, just make sure the same or a can of anything, just make sure the cans are the same weight. You can do that with a little bit of weight. And then that kind of adds a little spice if you need it. Um, so our squats today and our, our workout can be weighted. They don't have to be, but that's kind of up to you. Um, so body weight or added weight to that squat is fine. Just like we did with the goblet or the front squats in the first part of the workout. And then we have 10 push-ups, right? 10 total. That means breaking them up. Um, we can always bring the volume down if we need to elevate the push-ups, use our knees, all that good stuff. The only thing I don't think we haven't done, at least not in this sort of setting, is the four mountain climbers. Um, everyone counts mountain climbers a little bit differently, right? Um, in this case, we're going to count two leg lifts, so right, left, or left, right as one. So two steps is one rep. So just to be clear, I know counting them can be a bit questionable. The forearm part is going to be the part where we're basically we're making this into like a mini crunch as we bring the knee forward. So for anyone with really long legs, it's okay for not getting knee to tricep, but ultimately, and you don't have to jump these, by the way, you can step them just for the record. If you want to jump, you can, I'm not going to. My hands are going to be sitting like a puppy, right? So I'm sitting this way, right? Not this way. Um, you can't get your hands in line with your shoulder, that's fine, but just not closed off. We're trying to bias this external rotation shape. From here, the mountain climber self, so one rep is one, two. So that's right, sorry, sorry, do that. Two, two steps is one. So that's one, that's two, three. If you want to jump it, you can, but you don't have to jump it. So the idea being, we're just making it slightly more compressed as I'm bringing the knee forward. Just adds a little bit of something. Um, if you hate it, you need to go on to your, uh, your hands for it. You can do it a high plank, but it's written as forearm. Okay? Four rounds, I say not really for time, just for movement, um, of 10 squats, 10 push-ups. Again, break those up as you need. And then 10 forearm mark mountain climbers. Two steps is one rep. You need to count total each step. We're counting 20 total steps. Okay. Depending on how you like to count these things. Well, it's basically when you're ready. Find your space. Let's go ahead and start with our 10 squats, weighted or otherwise. We're doing four total rounds of this. 
So no lunges. Or your push-ups, can you break them up early and often? Or by default, use your knees or break it up half and half, right? Maybe do five with your legs straight and then five with your knees down. That's great. Good. And with the, in those mountain climbers, it's okay to take breaks as needed. Again, it's okay if your knees are not touching your triceps. We're just bringing the knee towards the elbow, or sorry, towards the tricep. Nice Reese. I like the mix and match. Big fan. Just a little too much on the ground. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I figured. I was gonna say it's totally fine to. Well, frankly, Maxine, even just bring the volume down altogether. Okay. okay. Yeah. So I know you did 10 the first one, probably. Yeah. Uh, or maybe you can do five. Okay. Depending on how your shoulder feels. Again, I want to make it keep it feeling good. Fatigue is fine. Yeah. Um, I need to be careful not to cross that line. And yeah. So did you do 10 on the first round? Yeah. Okay. And I'm saying, did, how many did you do this one? Five? I just did 10 on the bench. Let's, if anything, let's remit the remaining rounds. So the following two, five or less. Okay. You need to remove them all together because you did 20 total. It's okay. Maybe you okay. just. That's fair. Yeah, we want to feel, keep it feeling good. I know. So when you're on that sweet spot, you're like, I feel great, but I'm not fully recovered. <laughs> yeah, we can talk about kind of total volume next time. Like how many push-ups you're going to end up doing total and how many you want to actually do. Nice. Can you lay all the way down, even on your knees? So lay all the way down if you can. It's okay if you warm up. So lay all the way down so your chest touches, and then it's okay to wiggle up. Yeah, beautiful. Wiggle up. Beautiful. Yep. And just like I said, Maxine, if you need to bring that volume down, and that could just be because 10 is too many, then do less. Right? Okay. Yeah. Four times? I don't know if just four times, but it doesn't matter. Don't.
someone's got to count. I just don't know who is <laughs> counting. I say for anyone with kids or summer camps, um, there are literally companies that make lanyards with little beads on them that you move over. It's like a very simple abacus. And exactly. it's a way to count rounds. And they literally sell these to CrossFit gyms and they actually buy them. But you know what? They're shockingly effective, right? Like you're just moving a dot over, right? A bead over. So if you need a project this summer, find a bit of string, put some beads on it and make sure it's stiff enough you have to move them over and there you go counting your workouts and it, let's say it's free <laughs> but it is something all right it makes you feel any better i can't count past three in a situation like this <laughs> i'm gonna be like hey maxine what are you on what did you do this is number four this is four i'm I know. with you I can't count past three. I didn't say you couldn't count past three. <laughs> well, most of the time I can't, so that's totally fair. Here we go. Yeah. Now like, I've lost three. count of my squats. <laughs> ah, I think that was six. Six. Great. <laughs> it's okay. No one's no one's counting your ass, Maxine. Oh, so, good. Yeah. As in, like. It's a bit of an honor system. I'm not going to be like, you didn't do this. <laughs> Oftentimes in a group, like in a, I say in a group mm -hmm. class, in a in-person setting, people will do like a test round, be like, just to make sure movements feel good, weights feel good. And a lot of people would joke, was that going to first round? And I'm like, well, only if you want to, it's like, you're only hurting yourself. You don't do it. And they're like, oh, I give like the mom answer. It's like, well, I'll be disappointed. And they're like, you'll be disappointed. And they get so, they get so upset. But they can't be angry because like she cares, but we have to do the whole thing. It's my favorite thing. Uh. And they, can, they can't be angry at you because, well, they can't be, but they don't have it. You expect. Kind of. Um, I do know so that's finishing off or you're just stretching. I can't tell. It's sort of a down dog slash. I am way slower than you guys. That's fine. That's I'm okay. going to stop at three. Doesn't matter. Not a race. Stop at three. That's cool. It's okay to be, it's okay. I was just, it's okay to be a little bit. The thing is some people take more or less rest depending on the movements. Um, so especially with push-ups, my push-ups are objectively not very good and something I, I am working on, but it's a bit of a love, love language. You have to practice it to make them better. Um, and so it's one of those things where if you're taking a little longer, you need a little more breaks, that's fine, right? It's hence doing it kind of, and if it helps, what I can do is put for, and I do this for people at home doing this separately, is give you a general time frame. Like, hey, don't go more than 10 minutes. And then, hey, 10 minutes, you just stop. Like, don't worry. Like, if you want to check the box and do all four rounds, great. If you're like, I, it's like, I'm, you know, you're limited on time slash, like, I'm done with this. Thank you. Um, We can kind of give you general time frames to kind of expect on these workouts. I say expect to make sure that the stimulus is what we're looking for. So that we don't have to worry about it. Um, My friends, I told kind of, I think Maxine and I don't know who else was here. Um, I had to, I have to. I'm probably gonna hop off a little early. I know we're six fifty, a little early here. Um, I have to run up the. I have a because of my trip this well trip travel going to Tahoe this weekend. I'm putting all twenty clients in three days, so I have to go up to the gym now. Oh jeez, it's okay. Goodbye. It's not ideal. I talked to like not ideal, but it it's fine. I get I'm taking th three days off, so it's totally okay. I just have an appointment right after this, so I'm gonna hop right off. Um. If you have any questions, I know Reese, you're on mute there. If you have any questions, um, I'm happy to hang on for a few minutes and then I'm going to hop on my bike, go up the hill. Um, otherwise, Min says hello again. Min's just all about this. She's just all about it today. She's just checking if she's... <laughs> she's. I just can't. She just want to hug her. Um, friends, have a lovely rest of your day. 
Um, I hope, let me know how you feel. That was a lot of squatting. I, Joseph loved it. He's feeling great. <laughs> was that a thumb or a middle finger? I can't tell the difference. <laughs> yes, he's he's winning at working out. <laughs> he is winning at working out. <laughs> <laughs>